In the Media Plan tab, we'll create a placement for each ad slot on each publisher website that we've secured. This tells DFA where the banners will run and how much the publishers charge for each impression, click, or conversion. To get started, we'll click the Create button on the right-hand side. <laughs> If we purchase the placements as part of a group, we would select roadblocks or packages. In this case, we'll select placement, which will open a window to locate the website for our placement. If the site has not been used before and is not in our account, we can add it by searching in Site Directory, a database of sites used by all DFA accounts. To look for the publisher website, we'll search within the current account option since that website is already located in our DFA account. Sometimes, there may be multiple listings for the same publisher. In order to find the right one, you can check the URL listed next to the site. URLs have extra information in the title that can distinguish international versions. We can also look at the list of site attributes, which are the different options that the site allows, such as interstitial or pop-up banners and in-stream video advertisements. Once we've located the publisher, we simply click on the white space next to its name. After selecting the site, we need to fill out five main placement properties. Usually, the ad serving costs are paid by our agency, but sometimes the publisher will pay the ad serving costs and select publisher paid. For now, we'll select agency paid. Placement name usually follows the naming convention of including site name, page name, and size. In order for the ad tag to know what size ads to look for, we need to select the dimensions to populate the ad tag code. If the needed size isn't shown, we could always add it by clicking on the plus button and typing in the dimensions. <laughs> Finally, we can choose the media cost structure and enter in the number of units, the rate, and the final cost. The placement start and end dates are already pre-populated with the dates we entered in the campaign properties section. These dates tell DFA when to start and stop calculating costs. These dates are not used to control ad serving, but allow DFA to calculate our media cost when we pull reports. We'll leave the tag types as they are at the bottom of the page and click save. If we needed to create similar placements, we could use the copy edit functionality in DFA to do so in bulk. We'd simply select the placements we'd like to copy, up to 100, and click the copy button. We won. $10 million. Yes. After DFA has created the copies, we can select any of the copied placements we'd like to update and click Edit. This opens each column into editable fields where we can change the placement name, size, and cost information. When we finish making changes, we can click Save. We can also export existing placements to a spreadsheet. Open the document, make changes, let's say to the total number of units and cost, 
receive the document. And upon import, DFA will bulk process all the changes at once. If we had a lot of changes to make or placements to create, we can import a spreadsheet with the updated information. When DFA creates the placements, the media plan tab will be locked to prevent any further changes. Once the import is done processing, we'll see the new placements created and saved with IDs. Now we know three ways to create placements, one at a time, using the copy and edit functionality in the UI, and using the import-export sheet.